Hello my dear family members, today we have an exciting video for all the TCS NQT aspirant. After the positive response to our previous TCS NQT coding video, I am thrilled to bring you another set of challenging problems which was asked on 19th January TCS NQT exam advanced section. So let's see the question. But before you proceed, I would recommend you to have the TCS NQT prime materials in which you will have all the recent coding questions, previous year questions and the mock test as well. So to get that, knock me at my ID instagram.com slash techno.ef you will get it okay so let's go to the question the question is this a robot which sorts apples in ascending order based on their size the robot only picks apples of different colors red and green two at a time right so please remember this picks apples different colors and two at a time right please remember that and return yes if robot can sort the apples else return no right so here is the sample input that is if the array is this 26 56 75 3 56 and 50 are the sizes of array and color is 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is how they noted right and 0 is red 1 is green right so robot can take two apples at a time to sort right and can only pick apples of different color Return yes, if robot can sort, else return no, okay. So I hope you have some confusion, so let me clear it, okay. So let's say these are the element 26, 56, 75, 3, 56, 50 and these are the respective colors like 0 red, 1 green, right. So 26, 75, 3, 56 are red, 56 and 50 are green, right. So you have to sort them and you have to check if this is sortable or not according to the condition. You have to pick one red one green at a time and you have to pick two at a time right you cannot pick only one at a once right so i hope you understood right so what should be your solution approach that is at first you will sort all the green elements then you will sort all the red elements right then you will check if the size of them are equal or not if these are not equal that means you cannot you cannot pick two element of different color at a time right i mean let's say for this example if you have sorted the green elements at first then if you have sorted the red elements let me sort this so let me sort the red elements at first so 3 then 26 then uh, what then 56 then 75 right and then let me sort the green elements that is 56 and 50 so 50 and 56 so we have sorted them right so according to the condition if you have started sorting them then three will come at first i mean you have to pick one red one green or one green one red at a time and you have to pick two right so let's say you have picked three then 50 then 26 is sorted sorter right so we will not get that and will return false but let's say this is 10 right let's say and if you have started sorting them then let's say if you have picked red then you will have to pick the green then this is uh this is what this is actually in order ascending order right and you, you have picked another red that is 26 and then you have picked another green that is 56 right but then if you have picked a red then you are only left with a red again that means 75 so but you cannot pick the 75 because this is also red and you cannot pick red i mean in same color and two two in, in a same time right you have to pick different color at a same time so this is not possible we will return false right so i hope you understood right so the first condition you will check if the size of red elements and size of green elements are okay or not I mean all equal or not if not equal then return false then we'll check if the ascending order is possible or not right so i hope you understood what should we do right so let me show you another example so that it will be more clear right so let's say this is one i mean the green and this is the arrangement right so what should you do at first that is let's say you are sorting the red element or green element then you are sorting the red element or green element right so let me sort that at first so i have sorted the green element at first i mean the green elements are 56 3 and 50 and red elements are 26 75 and 56 right 
and we are sorting them like we are sorting the green elements that is 3 50 and 56 in ascending order and 26 7, uh, 56 and 75 the green elements sorry red elements in ascending order right so so after sorting we have to pick one red one green or one green one red right at a time and we have to also check if the uh, if the order is following actual ascending order or not right so here look at carefully 3 26 we are picking our green and our red we have picked that and then we have picked let's say 50 and 56 50 and uh, 56 then we are picking again a 56 i mean green and then a uh, red so let's check it so size is equal right so this is not a problem and we are getting actual ascending order right this is possible to sort in ascending order that is 3 26 50 56 56 75 so this is possible so we will return true right so let's see another game that is let's say this 50 is lesser than 26 let's say 15 right so you are started sorting the elements like at first you take a green element then red element 326 then you have to pick another green element right that is 15 because you have to pick green and red green and red this way right you could have taken 56 as well but as this is always greater than this because this is already sorted right so we'll have to check this element because this cannot be sorted according to this line but this is sorted right so we have to check uh, if condition if this element that is i plus one element is this is this greater than this element or we have to check if this element is greater than or equal to this element this way right so i hope you understood right so let's say you have taken 26 then 30 right in this case you have to check if this 56 i mean j plus 1 is greater than this 30 or not greater than or equal to this 30 or not and then you would have to check if the 15 is lesser than this element or not lesser than or equal to right i mean this element is greater than or equal to of this element or not right if you would have started taking the element from 26 and 3 56 and 15 this way right so i hope you understood what i have been conveying to you right so if you understood then please start solving the problem and give the answer in the comment section if you are not able at the end then please come to watch otherwise this will not be helpful to you right so let me go to the solution part actually i have taken the solution i have written the solution in java but uh, you could have solved the problem in python as well but i would not recommend you to solve the problem in python in tcs nqt because in tcs nqt this is very time we have seen that uh, in python there is some problem of version right so you have to be very careful about this because some uh, version are not supporting a, a functionality and that's why the candidates are facing many problems right so i would recommend you to go with any um c or c plus plus or java but don't go with python as even it is very shorter right so let's let me explain this code so at first i have started writing the code from main and i have not taken the inputs from users i have created the raw values right okay so at first i have created the list of integer of sizes of apples right and uh, i have created the list of integer of colors right so as i am using the list interface so i have to import that list right import the list interface then uh, i have created a boolean variable in which i am storing true or false uh, which is being returned by this sortable function uh, which i have written uh, in the main class right and which is taking the size and color as the list right and we are checking if this is true then we are printing yes if this is false then we are printing no right so let me go to the sortable function so at first i have created the function and which is a static method so that i don't have to create the object of main class and we can directly call that sortable function in the main method right and this is returning a boolean value which is true or false and this is taking the list 
uh, of size and this is also list of colors right and at first we have to create the list of uh, red i mean list of red apples and list of green apples right so just array list is a class which is uh, implementing the list interface so this way we are just creating the red and green lists right then we have to iterate through all the elements of the color list right so that we can get all the green and all the red colors uh, apple in different list right so we are iterating through uh, from 0 to nth element and we are getting if uh, color dot get i so that we can get the elements uh, respectively from 0 to 9 0 to n and if we are getting 0 that means this is red so we will pick that inside red list and if this is 1 then we'll pick that inside green list right then we have to check if this size equal or not if the red size and the green size is equal or not if this is not equal then we'll return false and will not check further right so if this is true if this is false i mean if this is if this is not satisfying then this will check this will sort this element i mean the red list right collections dot sort collections is a class which is having this sort method by which we will sort the list right list of red and we will also sort the list of green right so this is what we have done here so at first we have taken the uh, green elements then we have taken the red elements inside two different list then we are sorting the list a uh, green elements and the red elements we have sorted that right then what we are doing right now here that is so now we are going up to the red size and the green size element right and we are getting the red element at in the element a variable and green element inside element b variable each time at each iteration of while loop right and we are checking uh, let's say this is red element and this is green element and this is element a and this is element b at first right so now we are checking if element a is less than element b yes 3 is less than 26 right so we are going inside the e block and also there is another e block that is checking if i plus 1 less than red size yes 0 plus 1 is less than red size right red, red size list right and we are checking if the red i plus 1 that is 15 is this less than 26 why we are checking this because this element must be greater than this 26 in order to sort the element in a good way right if this becomes less than this 26 then we'll say this cannot be possible to sort this element in ascending order right so we are returning false right so then we are going to the next condition that is if element a is greater than element b so in this case the element is not element a is not greater than element b but if this element is greater than element b then we would have checked if j plus 1 is less than green size yes at the first in this case the j plus 1 is less than the green size and rest of the task will do as the previously we have done right and then we are increasing i and j by plus 1 and at the end if any conditions are not matching then we will return true right that means the case is possible right so let me run the code let's check the actual answer right so run it so for this input we are checking so this must be given no right as expected because the size is not equal so this should be this should be no right and let me check it if this is the size is equal and this is sortable so let me check that so this is the second case so in this case the output should be yes and as expected because this is sortable right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in java so if you didn't understand yet let me know in the comment section i will love to explain you there so if you found this video helpful then please motivate me by commenting and please share this content with your friends so that i can be motivated more right and if you want the prime materials of TCS NQT, then please knock me at my Insta ID, instagram.com slash techno.uf. It will be very much helpful because I have included the recent questions, recent mock test as well. So please knock me.